Hello, 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 everybody. Root Beer here, looking at question 13 on the Pascal paper from 2006. If Karina had added the numbers P and Q correctly, the answer would have been 16. By mistake, she subtracted Q from P. Her answer was 4. What is the value of P? Hmm. Okay, so if we can take her, the, the statements about uh, Karina and her mathematical skills, her arithmetic, and uh, turn them into equations ourselves, we would be able to see P plus Q. If we add them together, P plus Q is 16. We also know her mistake was P minus Q. That's the calculation she actually performed. She got 4. This turns into a pair of equations. Okay, and uh, something we can do from here, well, actually, we, we sort of have two ways to approach this one. Uh, one thing we could do, uh, so I'll, I'll do both of them. Uh, one thing we can do is we can actually add and subtract equations. Okay, and uh, so this is sort of the classy way to do it. P plus P is 2P, plus P plus minus Q is no Qs at all. They cancel out. 16 plus 4 is 20, and from there, we get p is equal to 10, divide by 2 on both sides. Okay? If you have a bunch of equations, you can add and subtract them. You can add multiples of them. Uh, of them. You can subtract multiples of them, that sort of thing. Uh, you can even multiply equal equations. Uh, it's, it's, um, it's useful much later on in math if you go on to study something like uh, linear algebra. This is a whole, whole bunch of stuff. People like learning how to solve uh, uh, equations like this. And it's incredibly useful you know, in a lot of things that we do. Uh, but, you know, depending on how new you are at a contest, you, know, you might not be ready for adding equations. I just got comfortable with adding numbers a few years ago. So there's another way we can do this with, with more traditional algebra and how we handle things when people are just starting to learn algebra. And that would be uh, the second way here, which is rearranging equations to solve for the things we like. So... I'd like to get a single equation just in terms of P, or just in terms of Q. If I know what P is, I know what Q is. If I know what Q is, I know what P is. Okay? So if, if I knew, for example, that Q was 8, the first equation tells me P plus 8 is 16, P is going to have to be 8. That sort of thing. Or, or if Q were 8, you know, the second equation tells me P is going to have to be 12. Uh, so since uh, we don't get the same P both times, we know that's, that's not going to be the right answer. But the point is, uh, I could uh, rearrange this first equation and say q is 16 minus p. Or I could have rearranged and said p is 16 minus q, or I could be rearranging the second equation. However I do it, that's fine. So now I know q in terms of p. Well, my second equation is p minus q is equal to 4. I know what q is. So as long as I'm very careful with this minus sign and these brackets here, I get p minus 16 minus negative p, which is just plus p, is equal to 4. 2p, bring the 16 over, 20, and once again, we get p is equal to 10. Okay. Uh, incidentally, q is going to have to be 6 if you wanted to solve for that as well. But the question only asks us, what is the value of p? So I stop there. And I see my answer is going to be d. So you can tackle it either way, rearrange and solve for one of the variables, or you can be fancy and add both equations. And either way, we get our answer of D, uh, P is equal to 10. Okay, so that does it for this question. There's going to be more Pascal coming up. If you want to be kept up to date, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Uh, my understanding is it notifies you uh, when, when I posted a new video. And uh, if you want to, feel free to throw a like on the video or comment and just share it around your math circle, whatever you'd like to do. And if you want to do none of that, that's okay. I'll still see you uh, in the next video with the next question. So, so long for now, and have yourself a good day.